hello there on this beautiful morning. Two things are very important when you're going to be doing exercises. Firstly, your posture. So if you're sitting, roll the shoulders back, keep your spine nice and straight in the seat. If you're standing, I'll show you how to do that in a moment. The second thing that's important is nutrition. You must be eating well. If you're recovering from surgery or radiotherapy, your body is still healing. Even when you've come home from the hospital and your treatment's finished. So you must give yourself the proper nutrition. But we'll talk about some of the nutrition issues in a later video. The muscle holding your scapula in position is traumatised with the neck dissection surgery, but not damaged, so you just need to bring it back to life. This video shows the winging of my left scapula one month after surgery. Now I found some of these exercises the toughest. Stand straight with feet hip width apart with your back against a wall and with your arms by your side. Push your arms back against the wall and tighten your shoulder blade muscles. Push your chest out, but don't let your shoulders come forward. I've turned around to show you what your shoulder blade should be doing when you're leaning against the wall. If your operation is recent, then your weak shoulder may be winging out. Working your scapula with all the exercises will bring the scapula back to normal. Stand facing the wall, with your feet shoulder width apart and far enough away from the wall so standing straight your palms touch the wall with your fingers pointing upwards. Repeat as many push-ups against the wall as you can, keeping your whole body straight and try not to let your back arch. As you're using your arms to do the push-ups, make sure your buttocks are tight and you're holding your tummy muscles in. Another exercise to help the arm on the side of your neck dissection is with a ball. Any ball available from sports shops, but one like this which is relatively soft, not a hard football. Take a Pilates ball and stand facing a wall with one foot forward on the same side as your weak arm. So left arm, left leg forward, right arm, right leg forward. With the ball between your hand and the wall, lean your body weight onto your hand. The ball will wobble a little, but this is working the muscle as you try to keep the hand in the same position and don't roll off the ball. Put pressure on the ball for five seconds, then relax. Gradually increase the time with pressure on the ball.
One of the most difficult things that I felt after I'd had my neck dissection was to raise my arm. And it's quite embarrassing to always have to ask somebody to get something off the shelf for you. So one way to deal with it is to walk up the wall. Take your arm in this position and climb up the wall. You may find you have to ask your doctor for a painkiller because initially it is very painful, but keep at it. It gets better and gradually lower it down. Once again, let's climb up the wall as far as you can go. Hold it and lower. Repeat that as many times as you can. What I found was that every time I went through a doorway, I used that as a trigger and would climb my arm up the frame of the door. But I've got a different way that I found also helped my shoulders recover. Come over and have a look at my pulley system. Hi there. Welcome to my pulley system. All you need is two rings, could be plastic rings, whatever, two pulleys and some quarter inch cord. You need to sit on a chair without arms so you're free to move. You need to sit such that the pulley hangs level with your shoulders. The first exercise, and we're going to do a hundred, is push your arms forward, raise, and alternate. I'm not going to do a hundred for the video, but let's do a few together. One, stretch as far as you can. Use the good arm, which in my case was the right arm, to help raise the left arm. But what you will find is the more you do this exercise, the more that bad arm will improve dramatically. One, this is the speed. six minutes. Now, when you've done your hundred, change position. Move the chair. Take your pulleys. But as you can see, they're not level with my shoulders. So move so they are level with my shoulders. And this time, we're going to do the arms out to the side. hoping that you'll finish early. Keep up this rhythm because you want to get that stretch into the arm that needs help. Now where am I going to set up a pulley system, you're asking yourself. Well, I've got quite a tall conservatory here, but you can do it in a doorway. I've done it in a kitchen doorway. Just a couple of screws, a couple of pulleys and some cord. And you need a chair without arms. 
So have a go. It makes a real difference. Posture is very important. Don't slouch when exercising. Try rolling your shoulders back and hold your back up straight. Imagine you have a cord pulling your spine up to the sky. Do a small pelvic tilt and pull your tummy in. Take a broomstick and hold it on one end and grasp it at arm's length along the handle. With your weak arm out straight, slowly push up the weak arm using your good arm to full extension and lower. If your operation was recent, you may find that this is painful, so ask your doctor what is recommended to reduce the discomfort. Take the TheraBand and wrap it around each fist, shoulder width apart, unstretched. Using your shoulder blades and not your arms, stretch the band in front of you. Remember how my scapula winged badly after the operation? Well, one year on, it's just fine. After the exercise, shake your arms. It'll help loosen the muscles. Get down on all fours and support your wrist with a folded towel. If you have a weak wrist, you might find this eases any stress on your wrists. With your back straight, raise your weak arm as far as it will go. Now when you feel able, take a small weight and continue gradually increasing weights. You can start with a can of soup or a half kilo weight and gradually work up. For this exercise, you will need a folded towel, a Pilates mat, or a garden chair cushion. Lie face down on the mat and place the folded towel under your weak arm so that it is raised to be level with your back. Now bend your elbow and raise your fist above the ground as far as you can. Make sure your arm is at right angles to your body.
Now doing the same exercise as before, when it becomes easier, as I mentioned, try it with a half kilo weight. This exercise really works the trapezius holding your scapula and avoids allowing other muscles to compensate. This shows the position from the side. For those of you with weak backs, you might want to try putting a small cushion under your abdomen. Remember, if you don't work at the trapezius, it'll become lazy because the other muscles will take over. Good luck with these exercises. They really do help. So don't forget, subscribe below and I'll see you next time.